Okay, yeah, uh, here we go, another fucking video. How's everybody doing again? Hopefully they're doing real shitty, because I am. Um, oh, we're drinking some uh, fucking vodka with a little bit of coffee in here. Okay, uh, so today's topic, so the fucking thumbnail, black metal bookshelf, black metal bookshelf, yeah, if you do, you may not believe it, but I am literate, I can read, probably watching some of these videos, you probably think I'm a fucking ignorant ass motherfucker, but I can read, but, uh, yeah, I like to buy books and read stuff, about a variety of different, uh, topics, but obviously, this channel is main, mainly based around black metal, so you can imagine that's a very important thing in my life so obviously I read a lot of stuff about black metal so I thought you know what the fuck I'll do a video on uh, some of the black metal books I have some of them are common you probably have some you may not know about I don't know you let me know but uh, go through some of them some of them better than others uh, first up to want to talk about first is just uh, called black metal black metal beyond the darkness black dog publishing this is a pretty damn good book. I bought this years ago, I guess when it was brand new, but uh, I see the last time I looked this book, those people were selling it for a ridiculous price these days. I don't know. I, I don't keep up with that shit, but I saw that and was surprised. But this is a pretty damn good book, man. It's, uh, talks about, it's not just a typical black metal book of band profiles and histories and whatnot or interviews. It, it's, uh, Broken down to discographies, uh, different types of black metal, talking about uh, histories of different scenes, uh, logo creation, zines, layout. It, it, it's a pretty interesting book. It's not just this typical same kind of shit. So if you do not have this book, I would uh, highly, highly re recommend this. It's lavishly illustrated for those of you that just don't look, like to look at pictures and shit. There's a uh, Plenty of ph photographs, images, album covers. Uh, highly recommended, man. If you don't have this, uh, definitely look into it. Black Metal Beyond the Darkness. I forget what year it came out. I know I bought this. It seems like it was over 10 years ago, I believe. But yeah, if you don't got it, get this shit. Uh, next up is, uh, you probably know this, Metallion the Slayer Diaries from the Slayer zine. This was a pretty big hit when it first came out, so I'm sure you're already familiar with this book. As you can see, it's one thick motherfucker. But uh, this is also highly recommended. It compiles all the issues of all the Slayer zines if you may or may not have them from back then. But this is really, really nice layout. It's, uh, it's every issue in its entirety, and also uh, liner notes of Italian kind of talking about the uh, process of each issue, which I thought was pretty pretty cool. He gave some uh, nice backstory and everything to kind of explain what he was going through. Like this, here, September 1992, kind of explains the times it was going on. So when reading this, I mean, not only are the interviews and the zines really cool, also his uh, liner notes are very cool too, to kind of bring you back to that time. It almost feels like you're in that scene in Norway back in the early 90s when they were doing this late 80s which I wasn't living in Norway I was here in fucking America listening to blasphemy over here but uh, yeah this is a good book you can see there's a lot of shit in there so if you don't have this I, if you like black metal and extreme shit highly recommend it uh, next up is this one here Blaze in the Northern Sky. It was put out by 33 and a third. They put out other books. They put out a couple of books about Slayer, which were really good. I, I, I enjoyed them. So I saw this. It's like, oh shit, an album about the album. Blaze in the Northern Sky. Dark Thrones. Well, I have to get this. This has got to be really cool. And uh, I was kind of disappointed in this. It's For those of you that like pictures and shit, there's not many, there's really hardly any pictures, which is fine but I was 
wanting to hear more backstory about the recording of this album and whatnot, but this, honestly, it's kind of boring to me because it's more of a uh, breaking it down each song as far as the technicality of the riffs and it just I mean I'm a musician too I like to make music but I just this shit just was pretty fucking boring to me I don't know does anybody else have this if you do I, I, I'm curious what you, what you think about it literally I'm not just saying it's just to get comments on the fucking page I'm really curious of what other people's opinions are of this book I thought it boring and it didn't do much for me I had high expectations and it didn't it's just fucking boring oh you really know if you, if you have the book comment I'm, I'm really curious of what you think about it I mean I'm glad I got it it's collectability just for because I love Dark Throne but yeah I, I'll, I'll probably never read it ever again and another book that's uh, kind of mediocre, A Journey in Darkness. It's uh, a biography about it, who is in Abruptum and other bands like that, but mostly known for, for Abruptum, classic, uh, noisy, ambient, black metal, very cool stuff. So when I saw it was a you know autobiography about him, I was like, oh fuck, I want to get this, check it out, and. Again, I was pretty let down on this. I mean, look at this bullshit. Looks like it's a little kid's book. Large typeface font, double space. So basically this book could probably fit on 20 pages, but they spread it out over 100 pages and they put double space. It, it, it's very amateurish. And then the first part of it's just about this motherfucker crying, feeling sorry for himself about it. I, I don't want to hear that crappy I, I don't like fucking pussy shit like that. I don't feel sorry for myself. And fuck you, motherfucker. But that's besides the point. Just this book was written very amateurishly, and I'm a, a big fan of Abruptum, so I was really wanting some cool insights on this, and it was... Yeah, this... You could tell there was not much time put into this. Still interesting to read, but this, it was a big letdown. Uh, moving on here, Rock Detector A to Z to Black Metal. If you're familiar with this, these Rock Detectors came out with several different ones about genres. One with Death Metal, one with Thrash Metal, I think they have Power Metal, all the different things. These books are kind of sought after. It's put out by Cherry Red Books, if you know, familiar with that publishing company. Uh, is it, it's, it's okay. It's not, it's basically just a list of black metal bands and then a brief synopsis of some of their of their discography uh, when this came out it was a lot cooler because learning about new bands and or bands you may not have know, known of but as of now there's so many bands way better black metal books than this this is just literally uh, an extended wikipedia article that's what it seems like you just look at the bands as their discography and a very brief write up about it. Is this mandatory? No, but if you have a chance to get it, yeah, I'd get it. Not mandatory, though. Uh, another book here, though, this one here, okay, it might scare some people. <laughs> this, this is a book that has scary pictures in it and stuff, so if you're, you cry about shit, I'm sorry if your feelings are hurt. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you if it hurts your feelings. Uh, it's a good book. It's called Wolves Among, Wolves Among Sheep. Uh, tsunami. Tsunami pre pressed this. It's a, an Italian-based uh, uh, publishing company. Originally, this was in all Italian. They did put out this version in English. Uh, Wolves Among Sheep. History and Ideology of... In I don't know. It doesn't matter if you like this shit, you don't, if you, maybe you believe this philosophy, ideology, maybe you don't. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. All I know is if it's good music, I like good music. I don't care what what it's talking about. I listen to a lot of bands that talk about shit that I don't, may not believe in, but I still like the music. Whatever. To each their own. But anyway, about this book, whether or not you are a fan of this genre or whatever, 
this is, I have to say, this is a very well put together book. Very extensive. You can see lots of photographs and uh, imagery on here, but it, I, I think this was uh, a lot of time was put into this book. Most of the bands in here I was already familiar with, but there were some that I were, I did learn about in here. Uh, it's got some interesting backstories. Some of them go a little bit too much into the ideology and talking about history, which is okay, but there's some cool stories about releases and whatnot. Uh, so I, this is highly recommended. It talks about the typical stuff. Absurd, Grand Lyle's Key, uh, Der Sturmer, stuff like that. There's also a lot of other bands you, you may or may not have known about. But uh, it, it's pretty good. I highly suggest this. Even if you uh, dish as a black metal fan in general, whether or not you know some of this stuff offends you, it's still worth looking into. There's some cool stuff in here talking about uh, Behemoth and the Poland scene. And yeah, it's uh, highly recommended. I, don't, I, I guess it's still available. I don't know. I buy the shit and I don't look it up anymore.